Yeah, we are. Nice and calm. Seeing some stuff jump here earlier. Probably a shad or bunker. But we're gonna work that point all the way. I'll oh, see that fish jumped. We're gonna work that point all the way out there for fluke where there's a drop off. So we got about a mile and a half to paddle. So we'll see how my buddy does with his uh, regular kayak. All right. Bringing along a bunker snag. A couple extra jig heads. And in case there's bluefish. A wire. All right, we're gonna launch out while I wait for my buddy. This is the kind of launch you dream about. Super calm. I gotta get out of these bugs. So we're we'll probably be sticking to not too bright of baits. This is what I'll be using today. This is a uh, Elias V Mackinac swim shad. I'm jigging this near the bottom. Oh, no way. I got, I got a fish. <laughs> That's a robin. That's how you know they're pretty thick. <laughs> Freaking ruining my shads already. So we're just slow trolling this uh, little shed, and we've been getting sea robin after sea robin. So I'm hoping maybe we can get a fluke to bite. Basically just slow trolling a heavy jig head with a paddle tail. It's near the bottom in 10 feet of water. I don't know what it is. I think it might be a fluke. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. No, striper.
There you go. They're here. They're even here. A foul hooked robin. You can imagine why that felt like a monster. <laughs> Pregnant. It's gotta be. Look how fat that belly is. Yeah. Oh, it's a decent one, man. Oh. He's gonna be close. Oh, he spit it. So 15, 16 feet of water. I think it's gonna be short by like. Oh. He's not happy. Oh my. Seventeen. Well, at least we know there's some. We'll just try to keep, we'll just drift all the way back in 15 feet of water. I think that's our best shot. Sea bass. Oh. I got a sea bass. Check it out. It's a good sign. Woody. Twenty third. That guy was tiny though. Alright, so here you have a chart of the bottom. Um, this is from Navionics, you know, I think I paid $20 for a year subscription for these charts and they're great. You have them on your phone. Uh, you can also have a desktop app for it, but, uh, they're great for finding ledges, you know, where these, uh, lines stack up. So this is a new area I tried out and yeah, it wasn't super productive. I, I had a tough wind against tide situation but all in all you know it wasn't it wasn't too terrible we caught one fish but so to give more background on how i drift where the red dot is is where we started the drift at that point that i showed you in the beginning of the video 
And then with the wind, we started coming back onto the ledge, but off of it. And, you know, we kind of squiggled here back and forth as the wind took us. And we really didn't find anything on the at the point area. But then I eventually got that one fish at the blue dot, around 15 feet of water. So that's when we tightened our loops and just tried to focus in and around that water depth. So, you know, this is a method that has worked for me in the past, but it didn't really work this time around. Um, but, you know, I think sometimes the fish are just scattered. We never really hit a great patch of fish. And, you know, this is just how it played out. So I'll just finish this video with uh, two quick pictures um, from a couple days earlier. I think two days earlier in um, a similar area. Maybe just a couple miles from the area I was fishing. Of two nice fish that I caught with the paddle tail Elias V. Mackinac Shad. Um, and I point this out because, you know, it gives you confidence when you catch something with a, you know, with a, with a lure that's not typical. It is a party boat, so this is different than a kayak. You know, the water is deeper, the drift is faster, uh, but still, this uh, little swim shed actually outfished other people on the boat who were using bait and also people who were using the classic uh, bucktail gulp. So, yeah, just goes to show you don't tr don't be afraid to uh, try new things. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks.